Vaheguru Ji Ka Khalsa, Vaheguru Ji Ki Fateh. Saad Sangha Ji, we were just having a conversation myself and, and Pai Supreet Singh. Um, and we just thought to set up the camera and start recording. Uh, but the conversation was along the lines of how the youth today uh, were moving away from memorizing Gurbani. Because um, we think about even in the past 30 years or the past 50 years, whenever somebody is going to do Kirtan, they would read the Gurbani, their source of learning the Shabbat would be from the Pothi Sahib. Their source of learning Gurbani would be when they do Sej part, when they do Akhand part, and they find a Shabbat that really stuck out to them. And they would go and want to sing that, they would want to memorize that, they would learn about that, they would do Katha about that. And slowly from that we moved into smaller Pothiya, then we moved into um, other sources where we, we would just write down the few specific things and we create our own booklets. But then now, in fact, we've actually moved so far away from it, it's been difficult for young Sikhs to actually memorize Gurbani, let alone their entire nitname. Just one Shabad seems so difficult. Why is that? Um, and it's something to think about. How can we integrate ba that aspect of memorizing Gurbani back into the Pant? Let me give you an example. And I've seen it in some of the Bajorgs, the older generation even today, um, not, not the youth actually, but some of the older generation that are, that are in their 70s and 80s now, this still exists where if you tell them where is the Shabbat from, they'll know exactly what, where to go inside of Guru Granth Sahib Ji, go to that specific rag, go to that specific ang, and they'll just be like, oh, this is where the Shabbat is. Or they'll hear the next Shabbat will play, or somebody will say a different Shabbat, and they'll say, oh, I know where that is. They'll, they'll shift the angs, and they'll go to the different ang, and they'll find the Shabbat. And it was almost like, in a way, they have Gurbani memorized. And it's actually, in fact, not out of the ordinary for Gursiks from the times of, uh, you know, in the, in the early 1900s or the 1800s. You know, like Akali Baba Kaur Singh Ji, Akali Baba Fula Singh Ji. Isarianu, they had all of Guru Granth Sahib Ji and all of Sri Dasam Granth Sahib Jivani, like memorized off of their tongue. And that was an ordinary. Then, you know, you can look a little bit later and people would have at least Panj Granthi memorized. That's a norm. And even when we were growing up, I remember it was, we were 10 years old, and if one of the kids wouldn't have an unsai memorized, or, or we wouldn't have an unsai memorized, or we wouldn't have, you know, uh, job side memorized, the kids at the Gurdwara, we would make fun of each other. And I'm not saying you should be making fun of each other, but I just want you to understand what the environment was like. Oh, you don't have an unsai here? Oh, get out of here, go memorize it. Oh, how can you, why don't you have it memorized? Which party do you mess up on? These were the conversations. We had Gurbani Kant Mukabale, competitions. I know they're still going on today, but there's a reason what I'm trying to get at is why are we struggling so much just to say we struggle with our net name. And as soon as you say the forbidden words, job side, people go crazy. Oh, no, 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 I can never memorize that. It's actually not that difficult. And because we're moving away from actually reading Gurbani from the Puttis, sure we go into our app where you want to find out a Shabbat and you want to read a Shabbat, you want to do Kirtan of a Shabbat today, guess what where you learn? You go onto YouTube, you find a Shabbat that you like and you just literally listen to it and you copy it. But instead you're not reading the Putti anymore, you're not doing a Saj part anymore. So therefore your understanding of the layout and even the, the structure of Gurbani isn't there anymore in some of the new generation. That, that's why it's so important to actually dive deep and read Gurbani, read your Nithinim from a Gurtka Sahib, it'll help you memorize it. Read Sajpat from an actual Poti Sahib rather than the electronic words that sometimes we see on apps. Again, don't get me wrong, apps, apps have been great, they've been a great resources, they've, they've allowed us to get that parchar out there. And even myself, I'm guilty, if, if, I wanted to, if I want to know a Shabbat while I'm walking around here or if I'm at home, what's the easiest way? You quickly open your app and you search the Shabbat and you bring it out. In fact, I've actually seen people training the youth not to go into a Poti Sahib and find a Shabbat. There's training to how to search a Shabbat on, for example, Sikhi to the Max or Ay Gurbani. Again, these resources are amazing and they're, they're going to continue to be a great resources, resource for the Panth. But then we've kind of excluded the actual Poti, the Granth. So Pai uh, we were just having a kind of conversation about that and uh, seeing that, you know, what could we kind of do 
Um, and what could we, what kind of message do we send out um, with um, this sort of uh, habits that we see kind of being built uh, among, amongst the new generation? I don't know, Pai uh, Supri Singh, they also do Katha uh, here in the New York area. They uh, also teach Santhya. And so even Das, myself, we've been teaching Santhya for uh, quite a few years now. And uh, we, we share a lot of students as well. But something that we, we notice is that Gurbani memorization aspect is being lost. Where I've seen generations, even of generations of a few people that are older than me, 10 years older than me, to say, oh, we, can't, we hear Gurbani, but it doesn't really stick to us. Whereas Gurbani should be, you hear it, you hear the Pangti, and that's it, you know the mem memorize. I think one aspect could be like, we rely so much on just English translations. Anji? So, Udebari Thorde, like, you know, feel free to sup on Kuli Vijar Karri. Anji? Faisa, you brought up a great point. Uh, we really rely on the English translation so much that it's taking us away from that core aspect of how to memorize Gurbani. Yep. You know, one of the ways that Das sees that I can memorize Gurbani is when I look at the Pad Arts of, of the Shabbat. So, like for example, it, it, uh, we were just talking about this with, 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 uh, with the Sangat. And we were saying from Pagdabani, Pagdabani, you know, and this memori the memorization of the Pangti just came sadji, just by understanding what chak means, what what chad means, what as means. So I think what what Vidyarthis or what the Sangat can attempt to do is try to learn the Pad Arts from Agyan Nising, from Ustad. And by learning the Pad Arts, building their vocabulary, they can then attempt to easily memorize Gurbani. And it, it won't be a, such a process of struggling anymore. It will be a, 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 a very natural flow because something you understand, something you just understand from a very scholarly level, from a vocabulary level, it will be easier to have in your mind. Yeah, it definitely. Yeah. Jadi, uh, you know, one, one thing to add on to that is when you speak the language of Gurbani, that becomes the way you, com you converse the way you communicate. In fact, you can speak to the Guru in that conversation. And the problem is when you rely on just the, an English translation, again, I always say this, don't get me wrong. And whenever you say one thing, there's always multiple aspects to it. Um, the resources are great and the scholars that have put them together are done. We, 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 you know, we've you've been using those resources our entire life as well. But when you rely on just um, that and you don't actually communicate with the Gurbani itself, you communicate through the translation and then you lose aspects of that. Um, and, and you fail to memorize. You might know the concept. Oh, somewhere in Gurbani it says this. Where in Gurbani does it say that? What, what is the line? What is the Pangati? What is the word? What is the Shabad? Who is the writer of that Shabad? What rag is it in? Was it a Shand? Was it a Salok? Was it a Paudi? So we have to know these these elements of Gurbani rather than just, just us, you know, sometimes we get messages on Instagram and emails. Uh, where in Gurbani does Gurbani talk about this? Of course, we'll answer that and we discuss that. That's what our YouTube channel and our conversation our, and our prachar is all about mm. is to get that message out easily. But if we just rely on that, then we miss that aspect of just reading Gurbani and not even needing the translations. You read your Nitanim and you end up reading your Nitanim as if Gurbani is speaking to you. And something we actually talked about uh, last night in Gatha as well is that, you know, Gurbani in itself is like a mirror. It's a reflection of yourself. When you look into a worldly mirror, you look into a mirror and you see your own body. You see in your own eyes and nose and your ears. And that shows you what you're, you are on the outside. Well, Gurbani is showing you your true form. But your mind comes in between. And when Gurbani shows you this is your Atma, if Gurbani is Turki Bani Yaitin Sagali Chintamurtai is coming from the absolute root and your true form is, is, is the form of Jyot, is the form of Atma, is the is omnipresent Wahiguru, then you yourself and your conversation is your inner voice is coming from that same Tur, but your mind comes in between. When the Gurbani shows you that mirror and you look deep within yourself, and by looking deep within yourself, Gurbani says, This is what you are. You know, you might hogi. There might be a lot of filth. There might be wavering mind. There might be a lot of duk, and it might be a lot of illusion. But then your mind comes in between and says, "Well, I have my own opinion about that." That mind is not allowing you to show you your true form. But in order to teach your mind that Gurbani is also the path, and Gurbani plays that aspect where 
it becomes the, the sub and the soap to scrub away at that filth. To be able to reach you, it is the mirror, it is the path, it is the teaching. So when you read Gurbani and you say the actual word and you say in Gurbani out of your own heart, you say, Ham andale and bikhe bikarati. Kyon chale gur chaleen. You speak this from your heart and you say it with pavna and you say the actual pangti while you're no while you're knowing what it means you could be walking talking doing whatever is in your mind it hits different and it's not even a, con a, a an aspect of memorizing is it oh. it's like at that point you, it's medicine yeah it's medicine uh -huh. you you you've taken it and it's just there with you yeah. and you want to build yourself to that level where gurbani becomes your conversation right where you're bolle gurbani ra oh, yeah. uh, you're speaking gurbani you're talking gurbani har nawe nal gallan har nawe nal maslat your gurbani is your musti it is your it is your you know in england they say banter um what do we say here in america we say like that is our slang talk slang is talk. is just our is our argument or back and forth yeah. um our conversation is gurbani right. when you, when guru sikh sit down guess what we talk about we didn't we didn't even realize it yeah. um jalo one aspect uh, as you know, Pai Supreet Singh, they've done a lot of Sangat of, uh, of Gur Sikhs and Ustads and they've been uh, learning for, for many years now. We've known each other since we were young. And we, we, by spending this time with these like saints or scholars or, or Gur Sikhs, and some of them aren't even well known, they're just, their jeevan, their life aspect is just, is such. What do you, what do they speak about? Like, yeah. when you hear them talk, they might not be quoting Gurbani, yes. but everything that everything they say is, is essentially Gurbani, Gurbani right? Yeah. Yeah. Right? They might not be saying Pankti or here, this quotes this or referencing this. They don't say that. But everything that they say is essentially, is the Guru talking, right? That's right. And Guru Sahib says, Ke Gur andar sat gur You want to be able to build that, like, Gurbani Again, when, as I'm think, thinking of this process, Pangtiya just come to your mind. The lines of Gurbani come to your mind. And Sadgur ki bani sat sarup hai, Gurbani bani hai. Right? So the form of Gurbani is the absolute truth. And the Guru's form is Gurbani, as the form of truth. And you want to become the form of Gurbani. And by your talking, your thinking, your aspect. Again, I know sometimes in the world, People might say religion is just a philosophy, your Sikh is just a philosophy. This is why uh, sometimes we tend to not use the word ism. Ism means like ideology. So that's why we say, we refer to Sikhi as, it's the Guru Sikhi. It's not like an ideology out there that's just an Sikh or ism. Right. That's why Gurbani is not something you believe in. It's become, it's practical, but it is a belief. It changes your thought. It shows your, uh, your path. It is the path, but then it becomes your path and it removes you. It's the thing that detaches you, is your liberator as well. So it's kind of encompassing so many things. I can't even find the right words to put towards it. Right. <laughs> That's what we say in Gurbani. Vaho, vaho, bani, to the avarna koi. That there's no one equivalent to that. And the more, Gurbani that you read essentially and a question that comes up all the time is like how do we memorize Gurbani the more we read it or we're struggling to understand it like you know Pai Sabji give, give some of your advice Pai Sabji I just want to go back to that point yeah we, we always often ask what is the, what ardas can I make what ardas can I make I'm feeling this way what, what, what explains my heart Gurbani can't kind of go goes back to that topic is that if you can look at Shabads or you just go through Gurban, you doing Saj part, whether Hukka Nama, you will find Shabads that relate to how you feel. What's the best Ardas to, to make is that Ardas is already written in Gurban. But Gurban is a form of so many Ardasas. You know, Sagal Dwar ko chhaad ke, Gihil Tawar Dwar. It's that feeling, that ump of, that a Guru Sikh has, Guru Sikh has written out in words for you. You can use that words, and then that becomes your Kant mechanism to like memories, memorizing Gurbani. You know, so like a a both prachalas sikhya gya that Guru Sikh share. Ek jo bani Kant pasa Kant. Then in the old days, they used to have pockets in here, inside your inside your button right here. Well, this Kant. So if you have your bani Kant in your Kant, it's like having money in your Kant. You know. Yeah. That you are always complete if you have your if you're bani kant. You're complete. You're you're not surviving on a phone. You're not surviving on anything else. If your name is in your kant, you're walking. You can walk with Guru Sahib day in and day out. 
you can do your soul that you can do your amatrilla everything independently the kalevi gal karde se apne jada ek six bana is a full one man army he has his haduria and his kamar kasa even we say the things carry the kashara second kashara in their kamar kasa right. the one man army they have the towel they have the uh, they have the kashara for next way it, it's, it's amazing about guru sahib has given us a complete right. complete package yeah. so when when different situations come in our life main samajhta ki those situations are the 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 vehicle we can use to memorize gurbani apa me koi dukh aaje hai na koi koi klesh aaje zindagi vich wo wo some some kind of like very hard times kon koi dipta pe aaje hai na in those times we go to our guru that's for sure we go to our guru but in what way are we going to our guru you know ek the best way i i found this ke like hukunama when hukunama guru said describe your heart wo hukunama yaad kar lo kant kar lo da hukunama because now day in day out when that feeling comes to your heart that pain comes in you can sing that hukna because within that hukna there will be our das somewhere you know these are the last two pankti is the rahauti pankti somewhere will be our das that you can use as your medicine yeah yeah you please and and when one of the things to see a gal kare na like with with gurbani is without gurbani being memorized you're not a savalak army your battery dies Yeah. You can't can't find a charger. And you know we, we Gursik Singh's uh, talk about it all the time. Oh, we want to live in the jungles, we want to experience that. We we have to memorize Gurbani while you're there as well. You won't find a phone charger. <laughs> have to have your nickname memorized. Yeah. Um and you have to have like for example, what would happen if we don't have access to Guru Granth Sahib Ji's roop? Or Gursik's there today that have all of Guru Granth Sahib Ji memorized and you you might be thinking well that's a crazy thing to say it's actually not that extraordinary we should all be striving to all of us both of us included we should be striving to memorize essentially all of Guru Sahib Ji uh, all of Gurbani that if we were ever in a situation that we wanted to write down all of Gurbani that we could right and said yeah you we can preserve it but the the true place to preserve is in here apne hriday vich that's the, all the all the other practical matters will be there and a quote ji you know there's uh, i'm going to reference uh, sikhandi pagthamala of bhai mani singh ji shaheed and they talk about gurbani actually speaking to every aspect uh, or every you can say jurisdiction uh, of gursikhs because gursikhs come in all levels not everyone is the most enlightened saint and not everyone is at the beginning level either some are beginning stages some are in there in the devotion stages and some are there at the enlightenment stages so they split these uh, into three different sections one is those that are just focusing on their karm their action so that might just be trying to still focus on their maryada um trying to find and discipline themselves how to eat how to sleep how to wake up you join an uh, a military an army what's the first thing that they teach you They're not going to teach you the inner code and strategy. No, the first thing they teach you is can you pack your own bed? Can you make your bed? Hospital corners. Um can you uh load and unload your gear? Can you walk properly? Can you speak to your seniors properly? Mm-hmm. All of that maryada is taught right. first, right? So we discipline our mind in the practical way. What are we listening to? What are we talking to? And what are we doing? And so that's why at the beginning stages there's a lot of questions um of Can, should we be doing this or should we not be doing this and those are valid questions those are things that need to be answered and need to be discussed uh, you can't just say oh well uh, your actions don't matter no they do your actions are what make up your karm they make up your your destiny they make up your karma they make up your mind they lead to what you think about what are you receiving through your senses or what are you outputting into the world in that sort of way so they speak about the good six that are just focusing on their karma and guru sahib speaks to the karma as well they say mere mohan sarvani ena sunaye sakat geet na tun gaavat bolat bol ajaye they listen to this and don't listen to this guru sahib ji says that you know you should be focusing on eating this and not focusing on eating this you should be uh, you know pehle prabhat hai uth wake up in the morning gur sat gur ka jo sat se khakaye pal ke uthar naam te aave you want to wake up early in the morning and and, and be able to do ishnan and do simran avdum kare pal ke prabhat ishnan kare amrit sar now so guru sahib is saying you want to be able to do uh, a wake up in the morning and ishnan as well these are uh, practical aspects of code of conduct so guru sahib is speaking to the karma aspect there as well then guru sahib ji pai mani singh ji she explains that they focus on the devotional aspect where well, this is where we call out to the guru tu mero pyaro ta kaisi bhookha tu man vasya lagna na dukha that's why we don't experience pain or dukh or that sort of thirst anymore so when you're in the state of bliss 
you're fully speaking to devotion. You're saying to the Guru, you're praising the Guru. You're bowing down to the Guru. You're singing your praises. You're just like a, a rain bird calls out to the rain cloud. A sun bird calls out to the sun. And all these analogies are uses, used. So that's why that's devotion. And Guru Bani speaks to your devotion, your emotional heart. When you're in pain, you're in pleasure, and you connect with the Guru as well. And then there's the, the rare aspects where Guru Sahib Ji speaks just about Gyan and, and, and enlightenment and spirituality. And this is where they'll, they'll speak about Tum tum karta tum hua mujh mein raha na hu Jab apa par ka mit gaya jat te ka ta tum They'll speak about that losing of ego Absorbing yourself in Paramatma where your home does not exist anymore And that aspect is, is there as well Through the karma, through the devotion it reaching to that stage So you see Gurbani speaks to all of these aspects So depending on what stage you are at Gurbani literally becomes what you do and what you talk and put your mind through Gurbani. Gurbani becomes your conversation. Mm -hmm. And then how does Gurbani not get memorized in that stage? Yes. You'll have Pangtiya, lines, Gurbani. It literally has to be there instilled. Like it's, you have to put it into the, into the pot and then, you, then it'll begin to steam up, right? So that's why Gurbani and memorizing it is so, so important. I would suggest start with one line a day. Just literally pick up, pick a Shabbat and memorize one line a day. If you can manage that, then go on to two lines. Then eventually build up to so you can memorize a Shabbat a day. Shabbat is what? Sometimes it's five lines. Sometimes it's seven lines. So memorize a party or a Shabbat a day. And in 30 days, guess what? You'll have 30 Shabbats memorized. And 30 Shabbats or within 40 days, guess what? You have all of Japji Sahib memorized now. And then Jab Sahib, then Tua Prasad Swayya, Anand Sahib, you have all of Gnetane memorized, yeah. move on. Start memorizing Siri Rag, start memorizing Asadivar, start memorizing Sukhmani Sahib, start memorizing Panj Granthi, Bayuvara, Pagdandi Bani, memorize difficult Shabbats. Yak Arz Guftam Pesto Dargos Kun Karta. Start memorizing these difficult words and these vocabulary as well. So, Ede Barit Pai Sahib Ji. Sorry, yeah. Mr. You brought up a great point up about the, the hard, difficult Shabbats. You know, and this, this is something that's really, uh, I, I see as a really good system within this, in, in the Santhya way of learning Gurbani, is that there are some Shabbats that are, are mandatory for the other to have Kant. Yes, there's mandatory Shabbats. Mandatory Shabbats. When you begin learning, these Shabbats are the Shabbats that essentially they become your building blocks. Yes. Right, so one of them is Siri uh, Jai yeah, Dev Jiwa Ka Pada, right? So that Shabbat in itself, is is difficult. It's a tongue twister. It's, it has different languages, as Farsi, uh, Arbi, um, and uh, language inside of it. But when you memorize that, reading other shabads might be a lot easier, yeah. right? And, you. And, and, and so, so, and those memorization of those hard shabads, the, the main is a lot. It's a lot of hard work. But just the only thing that you can do is to do the same they have these adar, they have these sikhya from the sansad that we can use. When you work a really hard job, you work with your hands, you come home, you eat that prashadda, that prashadda has amrit ras falling from it. And that same way, Gurbani, the shabbats are very hard, like I said, from rag to lang. Guru Sikh, Guru Nanak Dev Ji Maharaj, Jira, Jira, Pada. Hey, this is another another shabd that Guru Sikh memorizes. You know, and when you when you memorize a shabd, ora ras sagani vakran. You know, it takes hours and hours on end memorizing those type of shabbats. But when you get it, when you get it down, the anand from it's vakra as well. Definitely. Aad purk manopamang sat aad pavratam. That's Siri Jadev Jiyo ka pada. And we, we memorized this when we were about, what, eight years old, ten years old. But you don't forget them. Uh, why? Because even though you might not be reciting it every single day, but at that time, sure it was difficult. Uh, but the fall, the, the fruit of it is absolutely different, and especially the the resources that you know the you guys have today. When you're young, or you're in school, or you're in university. What, before you get busier in life, right. you have the opportunity, you have the resources of the internet today. Listen to Kirtan all day. The more Kirtan you listen to, the more Shabads you'll memorize. The more Katha you listen to, the more Shabads you'll memorize. The more you read, the more you'll memorize. Right. Indulge in those conversations more, and guess what? Yes. Your mind will pick up that more naturally mm -hmm. instead of the other things. Depend on what you're feeding yourself. So, uh, Guru Piyareo, this was our just our our small little binti to 
to the entire Sangha to focus on memorizing Gurbani and know exactly where you are in Gurbani. Go back to the Poti Sahibs, memorize Gurbani, listen to it. Don't just rely on these other resources that we have because sometimes these tend to not ingrain inside of your mind, ingrain inside of your heart in that same way. Um, you know, uh, uh, great thank you to Pai Supreet Singh. Pai Supreet Singh, actually, they do have been doing Katha with us. Um, everything's 13 basics of Sikhi in uh, New York for uh, many years now. And uh, they've had a few videos um, on our North America pages as well. So that's why, you know, both what and what Pai Supreet Singh ji, um, you know, and you know, Maras Girpak, and we can Ral Milke with the Guru's Guru the Sangat's uh, support, we can continue doing the seva. So Guru Pyari Sad Sangat ji, Inniya Bintiya Parwan Karniya Pullanchi Kandi Khema, Wahe Guru Ji Ka Khalsa, Wahe Guru Ji Ki Fateh.